Greetings everyone. This is an earthquake watch for October 4, 5 and 6. Just a recap on the last few days. We have seen some significant events um, around about the 35 to 37 degree region and although they're not huge they are a clustering of smaller events so that tells us that perhaps the likely larger event has been dissipated um, by some solar activities um, perhaps CMEs etc. And I'm expecting that we're going to get a ramping up in earthquake activity mainly due to the low x-rays and solar winds. The x-ray flux data is showing us that there's a significant lowering of activity and that gives us an indication that perhaps a large uh, event is coming and the solar winds have um, pretty much gone through the lowest levels they've been for quite some time, it's almost um, three weeks and that's an indication of um, significant activity. And the SEM um, proton data is probably the icing on the cake, which um, gives us an indication that we're just about to see an, a significant spike, and that would indicate a um, seismic event. We'll just have a quick look at the um, Space Weather Prediction Centre, and they're advising us that things are going to be fairly quiet with a slight increase uh, towards the end of the watch period, which would be 5th and the 6th. I'm thinking that we're going to be getting um, some events right through, and I'll get the uh, images out now. Okay, I'm going to flick through some stills and um, I'm going to be looking at all three angstroms here, the 211, 171 and 193. And the area we're focusing on is the uh, very, very high reaches up towards the Alaskan, Kodak Island, Aleutian Island region in Canada. And we can have a quick look between all these angstroms that there is a significant coronal hole feature that sits above. And that's more than likely going to be the October 5 and October 6 event with some precursor events uh, which should be coming up uh, today, October 4. Now, we can see that um, there's probably going to be October 6, um, the major event. You can see the coronal feature right here. And this, this could be a quite large event, could be over um, 6.5 in magnitude. And that's probably the most or the biggest area of concern. Um, we could see that there is a, um, an interesting feature here and we can't really see it in the 171 angstrom and it is, it is um, an interesting aspect here. This will be about 50 to 53 degrees this region here so we could be seeing some smaller events um, around about the Kuril Islands and perhaps Canada um, in the island region up there. We'll get the Google Earth out in a moment and we'll have a quick look at the imagery here from the SDO and this is the latest image that I've got and we can see that there's a lot of movement here and in and around this region here so it looks to be several significant events we could be seeing two 6.5 events in this region um, more than likely um, October 5 and 6 would be the, the major event which would be around about this region and I'm seeing it about north 50 53 degrees all right, we'll just have a quick look at the events that's coming, or that I perceive could be coming for October 4. And we are seeing some, some interesting features around the equator region and above, and a few coronal holes that are opening and closing here. And that gives me an indication that we could be seeing an event about 20 degrees north. Um, and I'm seeing that, I oh, will get Google Earth out in a moment here, but it's 20 degrees north would be in line with this active region and I'm thinking that we could be getting an event and a larger event probably in a few days time so perhaps a 6 in this region and maybe in a day's time we may see a slightly larger one um, in the same region so I'll get Google Earth out now again we've got two regions again that fit in the 20 degrees north area and I have been um, plotting this the last few weeks or so and this area around Guerrero there was a you could perceive a foreshock um, yesterday I think, uh, it would have been a 3 point something um, I'm thinking that it could be a 6 and it's either Guerrero region or this fault line or on the opposite side and the opposite side would be around the Philippine plate line um, there's um, some areas here in Luzon, Philippines and um, Babayuan, Philippines which is probably more likely, it's about 19 degrees here and yeah looks like we've had one here already. Yeah, it's got um, a foreshock, so to speak, in that region. Um, 
and Taiwan's probably a bit too high, although it's getting into that, that area. There is a, a likelihood that, um, although the images don't look like it, there is a likelihood that Hawaii may get another one. We did get a, a 4.0 or 3.9 um, not too long ago, and that's with the moon um, was moving across. So this area could be, it is in play, it is in the danger zone. But I'm thinking that more or less we're going to get a six quake, and it could be in either Mexico or the Philippine, top of Philippine plate region. And that would be my area for October 4. There is also uh, a likelihood for the above regions, and we'll look at those now for October 5 and 6. And the October 5 and 6 area that I'm targeting um, for a possible large event would be the Aleutian Islands. Um, they, uh, they do get large events, and I'm not thinking it's going to be a huge event, but just the way the coronal hole is looking, it does seem to match this area or on both corners of the Pacific. And the other area is the, um, this is the Russian Peninsula, and it is a bit on a bit of a slant here, the Kamchatka Peninsula. And this feature looks almost um, symmetric to what we're looking at on the sun. And I would say that there's a strong likelihood that this region or the Aleutian Island region will be, will get a six plus event um, over the next three days. Okay, I'll have a quick look at the Southern Hemisphere while I have the SDO data available. And we are seeing just a slight, uh, a few little smaller events up around the usual areas of um, Vanuatu, Fiji, in those regions. And then we'll just have a quick look at the stills now. And we're not seeing anything on the 211 Engstrom, but we are seeing something on the 171 Engstrom. And this still looks to me like it could be around about um, 25 degrees so we, we could be getting some more smaller events probably five ish 5.5s around the same areas and this will probably be in play just for a day and again it's fairly clear the southern hemisphere although we do see some some sporadic little holes the predominant um, activity seems to be up in the northern hemisphere and around the equator Okay, that's my earthquake watch for October 4, 5 and 6. Thanks for watching.